Gotta get some uh, newspaper and I'm gonna get a coffee. My man makes the best sandwiches in the neighborhood. The best coffee's right here. Well, in the store, it was good, you know, because I didn't want to get thrown out. But this is bullshit coffee, man. My wife makes better coffee than this. But it'll do for now. Cigarette or coffee. You know, when I was young, I was like 13 years old. I got shot. They blew, I got hit with a shotgun blast. They hit me in my, in my hip. They blew my hip bone out. Your hip is like this. This is how it moves. When they blew it out, they put it up. So I got one leg shorter than the other. I like history, I like science, I like learning about things that I don't know of. But that's now. That's when I became older. You understand? Taking good care of family. Yeah, my wife don't feel well, man. And you know, you know they were sick and all that with that flu and all that. So I gotta do what I gotta, I gotta help her out, man. Everybody got access to using the washing machines in the building. You know what? Man, it's a double thing. Dale, dale, dale. Welcome to my castle. You did find some pretty interesting things. My daddy's screwdriver? Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm on money. He just wants to be with you. What are you doing? Thank you. That's my oldest, my oldest daughter with her son and her daughter. These are my grandkids. Where is her husband? Her husband's in prison. Kids are growing up with no father figure in the house. That's how she grew up, because I wasn't there for her. I was in prison. Yo, my kids, that's my wife doing ballet like 30 years ago. I used to be a professional dancer for a living. That's what I did as a job when I was younger. That's me, that's guys that was doing the bed with me. That's me and my man. That's me. I'm a pioneer that. What I mean by that is before that started standards too. We used to dance and all that. Before it became popular like it is now. Before it got on the radio. Before it got on TV. Before videos. Before all that. We the ones that started that in the Bronx. Me and Stan. He became president of, of, of a great organization. Fortune Society. He, he you know. <laughs> We have three residents that we want to try to get into your um, housing program. Yes. They're ready to move out of our transitional program uh, into your affordable housing. Yes. Great. Fortune Society hooked us up, you know. Through them, I got that. Let me zip in my coat. Jerry, who is somebody I grew up with, and we had very similar paths uh, in and out of prison, in and out of uh, drug use, and we crossed paths here. I'm the senior vice president of Fortune Society, and he's a tenant of our affordable low-income supportive housing program, him, his wife, and his children. And we ended up in the same place. We're both doing well, but we took different, different paths to get here. We have 114 units. 63 of the units are for formerly incarcerated men and women. 50 of the units are for regular community members in this, this particular community. Thank you. Thank you.
How's it going? A little turkey bacon. You know. It smells really good. Turkey and bacon is, and eggs. This is his unit. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? And nice he's, to meet he's you. just taking care of the place. And, Absolutely. And using this place the way it's supposed to be Absolutely. used. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so how are you living here? Yeah, I've been living here. I just came home from prison after doing 18 and a half. Yeah. Been here about four or five months. Five months. You know. And he's doing trying wonderful, to, wonderful. Trying to build, recreate. It's, you know, it's a little rocky sometimes. Yeah. Where's that came from? Yeah. That's what he's so I'm glad you, to be in the number. graduation class? Absolutely. Oh, right, all right. Absolutely. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. That and That's a big time. deal, man. Absolutely. I grew up in a time when gangs were really high in the 70s. Then the heroin epidemic came about. So we've seen a lot of hustling. There were bars on every corner, drug dealers going on all the time, shootings going on, gang fights going on. It was that kind of life. And that kind of life gave you a vision of what your life would be, because you didn't see anything else. My friend Jerry's biggest challenge was like my challenge when I first came home. That's believing in your miracles. is shot while trying to break up a robbery in the Williamsburg section of the Bronx. Devastating new video shows a Bronx teenager being pursued by police moments before he was killed. There are many people in this community who are on edge as well. We just had moments ago a car drive by here and the drivers inside were actually cursing out the NYPD. America, man, is the land of opportunity. <laughs> That's how they want to make you think. Then when you get here, they discriminate against you. This country was made on immigrants, all right? America only has 270-something years of existence. You understand? So once again, you're back caught up in the moment now. What the fuck can I do now? The time is coming, so we must be stale. Bail us from my own catastrophe and bring us our own sanity. Lord, we are glad to be your children, but we fall shy from the sky like buildings. <laughs> I wrote that when I was 16, Mo. I shit oh, but I'm out of here. <laughs> That's exactly me when I was young. That was 30 years ago. I grew up right there. All right? And I was doing the same thing. I'm still living there. You see what he just said? He needed $20, right? Okay? Yo, everybody's trying to make it, man. It's not easy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy out here. And, it, and, and this is the generation that goes on. I'm the fourth generation of mine. God knows what number he is. He don't even know himself. I don't but, even know my pops. You see? You, said, you heard what he just said. I'm from the system. I'm from foster child. Foster child. My owner. mom gave birth to 12 kids. <laughs> He's a good brother. He's got the gift to gap. He knows how to talk well. He's a good talker. He's smart, and he's someone that uh, you can you can count on when you when you need him. He's there for you. Not only that, right? But same with him. You know, me and my brother went through a lot together. All right. Hey, I've been we shot did, in the face. I've been shot in the ear. Shot in the back. Shot in the leg. Accidentally shot myself in the foot. This is life. My, this I got shot life in my head. In. I've been shot on my elbow. These are what we call. Battle scars. Yeah, another time this guy shot me in the ear. Uh, he trying to take my gold chain. And he shot me in the ear, he took the gold chain. But then I came back and... Did what I had to do. And did what I had to do. And I got my stuff back the next day. You see, I did what I had to do, what was that? Whatever well, it is, that's not neither here or there. Believe me, Leave I got my stuff you. back. We got the stuff back. The, the, the very right. next day. Leave that to the imagination. 